Arithmetic Progressions An arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. In short, we denote arithmetic progression as AP. Consider some examples. The balance money after paying 5% of the total loan of $1,000 every month is 950, 900, 850, 800 and so on. The cash prizes given by a school to the toppers of grade 1 to 10 are respectively $200, $300, $400, $500 and so on. Jerry starts saving money for 30 days in his piggy bank. His everyday saving of $10 is 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on. The multiples of 7 are 7, 14, 21, 28 and so on. Electricity rates in a particular country are 30 cents per kilowatt hour. Electricity price debts per kilowatt hour are minus 30, minus 60, minus 90, minus 120 and so on. A school starts scholarship of $5,000 every year. Each of the numbers in the list is called a term. Can you write the next term in continuation in each of the lists of the numbers? By following a rule, we can write the next term. Let us observe and write the rule. In first, each term is 50 less than the term preceding it. Therefore, next term is continuation is 750. In second, each term is 100 more than the term preceding it. Therefore, next term in continuation is 600. In third, each term is obtained by adding 10 to the term preceding it. Therefore, next term in continuation is 50. In fourth, each term is obtained by adding 7 to the term preceding it. Therefore, next term in continuation is 35. In fifth, each term is obtained by subtracting 30 or adding minus 30 to the term preceding it. Therefore, next term in continuation is minus 150. In sixth, all the terms in the list are 5000, that is, each term is obtained by adding or subtracting 0 to the term preceding it. Therefore, next term in continuation is 5000. In all the lists, we see that successive terms are obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding terms. Such list of numbers is said to form an arithmetic progression. The fixed number is called the common difference of the AP. Remember that it can be positive, negative or zero. Let us denote the first term of an AP by A1, second term by A2, third term by A3 and so on up to nth number of AN and the common difference by D. So, A2 minus A1 is equal to D, A3 minus A2 is equal to D and so on. AN minus AN minus 1 is equal to D. Arithmetic progression can also be written as A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D and so on. Where A is the first term and D is the common difference. This is called the general form of an AP. Note that examples 1, 2 and 3 there will be a finite number of terms. Such an AP is called a finite AP. Also note that each of these arithmetic progression has a last term. Examples 4, 5 and 6 are not finite progressions and so they are called infinite arithmetic progressions. Such APs do not have a last term.